Hi everybody, welcome. Um, this morning we've arranged a quick coffee with Natalie De Petro, the director of MAPIC, and she's going to tell us a little bit about this year's event in November. And just to answer a few questions about MAPIC's new initiatives and a few important details and changes that are going to help us all with the latest market conditions. Bonjour Natalie, how are you? Fine, and you? Yeah, very good. It's nice to see that you're in your office. Yeah, back to normal life. Yeah. Fantastic. So, so Natalie, great. To t tell me, you know, how has MAPIC 2020 been adapted for, for these, these circumstances that we're all facing? In many ways, and there was a lot of changes. So uh, MAPIC will be uh, the first big international retail property event uh, organized uh, following COVID-19. Uh, after the lockdown and the strong impact on the retail industry, we see a uh, really a strong need to come together, exchange ideas, find new solutions. We know you and I and all the old, old industry that relation between the retailers and property owners have been quite tense, but the desire is clear to open conversation with, uh, with their peers uh, and they're from uh, around the world, not only on a national level and uh, mm -hmm. uh, because you can share experiences. Uh, but for those who will be on travel ban restriction, for example, uh, this year, uh, they will have a live digital platform to connect with uh, MAPIC physical participants and they, they can also listen to sessions. That's quite That's new good. for us. The main team of MAPIC is all about collaboration and uh, ready to change the rules or not. It's a teasing because we need to work together, share information to be in a better position to face challenges, to draw also new solutions, to innovate. Uh, we need to see uh, retail as a service to create better place to live, play and shop. And uh, we need also to think about sustainability and uh, quite new this year, but two, ele two elements, some very strong elements. First, the retailers will be at the heart of uh, the exhibiting area. And we are uh, we going to launch our very first leisure app. Ah, of course. The leisure, I was going to ask you about leisure up. So tell me, you know, with, with everything that's happening within the leisure industry today, the different headwinds that they're facing, you know, why, why is now the right time to, to support the retail and leisure um, aspect, the leisure aspects of, of the industry? For me, it's a crucial topic and for the wool industry. Because shopping destination will be transformed into lifestyle destination. And uh, we know that more or less 50% of the uh, important shopping destination will be dedicated to food and leisure, at least for 15% of, of the layout. So it is the right time to create a, a real event that's going to be a show it's not a conference it's really a show with an exhibiting area uh, we want to highlight the importance of human contact and socialization greater than ever after months of confinement emotion and experiences that cannot be replicated online like uh, uh, gaming culture climbing walls vr and the uh, leisure app will be uh, at the same location than mapic at the palais des festivals riviera 8 and the same dates yeah i remember the i remember the very first leisure app last year uh, it was a huge success for the first year so i know that there'll be many many people looking to uh, to join that again this year and t tell me about the days of the week this year so is, is there a there's a slight change isn't there yeah correct uh we made the decision to open mapic leisure up this year tuesday and finish uh finish on, on thursday evening more compact i think that's great uh, tuesday wednesday thursday i think works for, for for everybody and and lastly just tell us what measures are, are, have been implemented um, especially on the safety side for guests yeah. and exhibitors. Tell us a bit more about that. No, that's a very important question. Of course, health and well-being is our first priority. So in addition to a mask and jet that you know, uh, the cleaning of, of the event uh, will be continuously done. We're going to keep sanitary distances uh, inside the conference room, on the networking location, inside the lounges. We're going to adapt and have flexible event opening hours. We're going to multiply and repeat the conference sessions. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're going to have a one-way traffic inside the Palais, which is also mm -hmm. very important. So priority to be safe. Thank you for that, Natalie. I think everybody that's listened to this and seen this today will be reassured about the show in November. Um, I know that it will be the first major retail property show 
uh, post COVID. So um, it's great to hear the different initiatives and precautions that you're all, that you're taking. So thank you for that. And we look forward to seeing you in November. Thanks, Natalie. Sure. Thank you. And see you in Cannes.